Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 35 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. I can't believe we're on episode 35 already. We got a lot going on today. Leaving the top of the mob farm, I gotta go over to the horse stables, because I have a couple names here that you guys had come up with in the comments, and I figured it's been a couple episodes since we named a couple horses, so why don't we get on over here? First things first, walking up to my man, we got Horatio right here, and then the next horse we got is gonna be Homie, Achu right there, and then who else? We, all these guys got names, oh my god. Except for this guy right here, we got Homie, nice. I love our little horse population in here. We can uh, breed some more, let's get these guys going. Oh my god, they go absolutely crazy for golden carrots. This is, this is absolutely nuts. Yo, little baby horse, what's up, dude? We got a bunch of little baby horses. Taking these baby horses with me, all right, come on, guys. I don't know if I've ever had baby horses follow me in a single file line with a golden carrot, and this is maybe my new favorite thing. Ooh, we got a librarian right here, 1.20 coming up soon, which means we got new library style books coming up. I can't wait for the new blocks. I'm gonna make a new like underwater library or a new underground library somewhere when that comes out. I'm pretty excited for it. Buddy, what are you doing? Hey, get off the sea pickle. There you go. Come over here, guys. Follow me on the mossy path. Dude, these two horses get it, but this gray spotted one just absolutely does not get it. Buddy, hey, you know what? Fine, these two obviously want the carrot. This one does not want the carrot. He's, he's got his sights on something else. Okay, now the white horse has officially decided he does not want the carrot anymore. This guy's good, but that... <laughs> what's What happened? Dude, the horse just make a beeline to the left as soon as they don't want the carrot anymore. Well, all right. This guy made it all the way back pretty easy. The other two, I have no idea where they went. Let's actually take this guy inside wait nope he's stuck right there let's get a lead buddy get over here come on and yep yeah, let's uh let's tie you up over next to the house you're not going anywhere sir you are now the house horse if you guys can think of a name for this horse please write it down in the comment section down below it doesn't have to start with an h it's whatever you guys want okay let's see is that white horse around here i actually do not see that guy that's not very good okay let's go look for the other horse real quick is the other okay i found this guy you sir are gonna come home with us by lead Hey, the other horse is here. Okay, get out of there, bud. The land, the actual land is over here. If you guys want to name these two horses as well, go right ahead. Leave a comment down below. I'm excited to hear what you guys think. And why am I swimming upside down right now? What's going on? What I'm going to do is actually put one of you guys right here in front of the Rainbow Sheep Sharing Wool Farm because we do frequent this place quite a lot. And then I'm actually going to take you in front of the very front side of the house. I feel like we should start hooking up more horses to fence posts as decoration all the way around town. It kind of looks nice. It adds a lot more life for sure. And horses are awesome. Behind baby turtles, baby horses are definitely the best mob. That is enough horsing around though for right now. We have to head over to the goal board because Bamboo Farm, we did that last episode. So we got this going on. Boom. Last goal on the board is the butcher trading hall i'm excited i've actually never made this type of trading hall before and uh yeah you usually don't like utilize the smokers at all so it'll be fun to do that as well we have so many villagers why are y'all staring what are you inspiring about huh why are y'all staring it, it never ends man they just keep on breeding i take them out of here and they just they breed again we're i'm gonna get more meat though we have a lot of beef a lot of chicken and a lot of pork a lot of the uh the sheep and uh llama meat that we could get up in here too because i'm i'm assuming all that raw meat we're gonna have to sell get the pigs some carrots over here what's up little baby pigs uh and you know what i actually might make a pig pen pretty soon like give them something on their own we could actually just make this whole place for cows and the sheep you guys deserve your wheat as well that guy is stuck and that's absolutely hilarious i'm sorry dude you know what i'll come in here i'll give you some wheat but uh can, can he even eat he did he ate <laughs> he's just a part of the barn now you're just you're just a part of the structure might as well pop up into the chicken coop make some more chickens uh because i know that raw chicken is something that we're going to be selling for emeralds as well it's fun i don't really come here to make chickens i usually come here to kill a chicken on stream uh quite often because i do have that channel point reward but uh, th th this is nice and I'm actually surprised that all of these chickens are here because usually I'll come here and there will be zero chickens because an ocelot will spawn in here because I am in the jungle biome right now and when an ocelot spawns in here it just kind of decimates the whole population. I'm going to throw these eggs. There's a lot of eggs coming up. We've been dealing with a lot of pretty nice mobs in the overworld here so I think we've been spoiling ourselves. It's time to go to the nether. I actually have something that I've been meaning to go through for a while put on my fancy pants here and head through the portal definitely taking more rockets actually this way during the unfinished section of the highway tunnel here going to keep going just a little bit further and take one more rocket to the right there's a bastion all the way out here that i have not explored yet 
I'm gonna take a nice, safe approach at the top here. I do not have my bow and arrow out, which is pretty dumb. Every time I get to one of these, I just have the urge to take it down layer by layer. I don't know why, but I just do it every single time. So, kind of strange, but I don't see any piglins. Like, I don't, I don't see any brute piglins or anything around here. I see one zombified pigman, but that's, that's it. No, two. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. That's soul sand. Okay, something's wrong here. Ooh, I have our first piglin friend. What's up, dude? Got a piglin just trapped back there. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, dude. You gotta, you gotta go. Ooh, and he was guarding a chest, which had crying obsidian in it. Nice. Always take that golden apple, too. I'm gonna take a circle flight here around to see if I can get anything from the side. This hoglin doesn't have to be here. Time for you to go, buddy. There we go. I mean, it's it's cool that there's not a lot of enemies here, but, I mean, where are all of the enemies? I'll take this gilded blackstone without any buddy, like, challenging me, I guess, but... There's no brute piglins or anything here. One more piglin. I'm sorry, dude. If I do this, it'll bring the other brute piglins out. And it'll, it's just what we need. And you, Magma Cube, you can be gone too. Well, now this is just wild. I still haven't seen a brute piglin. And I'm about to take this gold right here. This is great. Fly around the backside here. Got some platform. Ooh, okay, cool. So we can take that. Thank you, sir. Chiseled, polished blackstone always looks good. I can just make it, but it's nice. To oh, God. It's nice to just take it. Sorry, guy. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I love this gilded blackstone. I want to put it in some builds, but I definitely need more of it, so I gotta find some more bastions, that's for sure. <gasps> oh, Lana Ray. Pig Step, let's go! I found Pig Step. Okay, that's amazing. I'm gonna see if I can long shot this piglin from all the way over here, and. Oh, he moved! You son of a gun, I'm just gonna go in like this. How dare you! How dare you! The piglins are here and they are moving. Let's just go that way and gotcha, buddy. Okay, so I was digging a tunnel. I just found a random chest. I didn't even... What? I don't even think that's supposed to be like that, but take anything I can find. I was pretty much just trying to get some more blackstone and take this whole place out, but we found ourselves a uh, brand new chest. Don't know how lucky I'll get in finding other stuff, though. I mean, I could keep digging for more blackstone for right now, but we did get quite a bit, almost a whole shulker box full. The zombified piglin, like, scared me, dude. That was a big jump scare. Maybe that's a sign I should just get out of here. Uh, like, I've got enough. I did find pig step. Let's just, uh, you know, jump up and fly out. Let's get back to the nether highway if I can find it. Looks like, yes. Okay, it is all the way down here. This is perfection. Let's just get straight on. Use the elytra to get in here. I'll have to come back. Ouch. Wow. Uh, that was, I need to be careful, man. I almost just, I almost just popped the totem right then and there. What was I thinking? All right, let's, uh, let's maybe just hop. Let's get in the glass. Then let's use the fireworks. Okay. Get a couple of these guys up in the blast furnace. And, oh man, let's go, let's go play this music disc. Flying over to the LA Beach House. We haven't been here since, like, I think it was, like, episode 21. What's up, dude? All the other LA's, there was, like, five of them tied up outside. And, uh, they're gone. They somehow get untied, the LA's do. And, uh, I've seen them out flying out in the ocean. I've caught two of them, brought them back. And those ones disappeared as well so uh we were down on some malaise and a couple of them are still in here luckily but i'm uh you know what let's go ahead and just play some pig step i am so happy i have this and the alays love this song too ah this is great oh you know what let's uh get some shards and we'll do this right here we'll go boom and we'll go boom and we'll go boom and add some Pig step to the playlist, and uh, this is great, man. On my way back home, this guy's taking a beating, and we already have so many iron golems around town. I'm just gonna take you out, sir. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna, I'm putting you out of your misery. This is more, this is for you. I'm doing this for you. Where are you going, sir? I'm doing this for you. Starting to think about where I should put the build for episode 35. This is where the mangrove forest was, also the azalea forest. Now it's going to be a birch forest because I ran out of birch wood. Also the long plays, I don't think I ever showed you guys those. Thanks for watching them. If you did, I do appreciate you. I do hope they're still helping people out, get some better sleep or studying, relaxing, anything like that. So just, yeah, pre appreciate you watching the video still if you are. But I figured I'll show you right here. We have a giant cozy windmill that we made in a long play. And this one took about two hours to build. And this one was super fun. I'm surprised we actually didn't have a windmill in this world yet. But we finally do. I'm actually going to take a little bit farther away look at it from up high so you guys can take a look i love this thing man and um, i might build more of them but with like an amethyst tip and a crimson tip as well it'd be nice to get more windmills around town 
Also, normally for thumbnails, I'll put some trees around the back so you don't see as much of the buildings behind. But in this case, we have some mangrove trees that I decided to put behind. And I don't think I'm going to take them away because I like the way that they add a little bit of the depth between this track right here and the builds. They surrounded the axolotl sanctuary hole. And I don't know, it just I, I think it all makes it come together just a little bit more. And when we're leaving, it makes it kind of seem like we're walking out into a swamp. And while we're over here, I could clean up a little bit of the area. We have a couple shulker boxes over here filled with everything that we need in order to fill up that uh, bone meal center that we made in a long plane. Actually, right now is a pretty good time to show you guys that. Anyways, on the other side of the map, leading into the tree farm, I uh, made a little bit of a path with the moss and a bunch of leaves, a little bit of lily pad action going on. I wanted to make a bone meal center because we kept running out of room in the double chests in our house for the bone meal. And so in here, I can pretty much just go in, place down a shulker box. It's not automatic or anything like that. I can go through when I have more inventory space, but I put it in and then I'll just have unlimited bone meal in here from now on. And thank you guys for watching this one too. If you did, it really does mean a lot. And yeah, this one was super fun. I wanted to get this little space filled in because we had the fisherman trading hall over here and the tree farm that we had built in episode 15 and there was nothing to fill this space up and I thought you know what let's use that pathway effect to make something over here so we didn't have to actually fly or swim anytime we wanted the spruce wood we also actually have one more long play because uh, I was actually gone over the weekend and I uh, didn't have time to do episode 35 and uh, so I got an extra long play done and it's this giant wheat field and I hope you guys enjoyed this one this one was one of the most fun long plays I had made in a while it, it was just nice to go ahead and make I'd like making circles circles in Minecraft it's always fun and go and ended up getting more wheat it's just what i wanted because uh, i wanted to make a mud build pretty soon and in order to make mud builds with mud bricks you need a lot of mud mixed with a lot of wheat this island is missing a little bit of life though i do have a cat that i got on the long play this guy's chill if you guys want to name this cat feel free to throw some names out too there is only one answer and that is chickens we must throw chickens down here chickens are the only way these chickens will bring life to this, they will fertilize the lands, and they will be able to graze upon these lands. I think we have like 15 to 20 chickens out here now, so that's that's quite a few for an island. Been adding these cattails to builds more often as well. I think it just adds a lot of life to the sides of grassy areas with the water, and I, I'm starting to like it a lot more. On the last episode, we had built this giant bamboo farm, and don't mind the azalea trees with the wood sticking out here. I just came back here every once in a while for a couple extra azalea leaves, and I haven't taken the oak wood yet, so don't, definitely don't mind that. But let's uh, let's go in here. I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, this is our bamboo farm. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, feel free to check it out, and thank you if you did watch it. I do appreciate the support. I'm loving this. I'd never really put so much uh, work or so many blocks into a bamboo farm. I usually make them a lot smaller. I'm getting ready for the 1.20 update because uh, with all the bamboo wood coming up and the rafts coming up, I want as much bamboo as possible. As I'm scanning this new birch forest area that we made next to the windmill, I kind of want to just take all of these. Oh, yo, we got new bees. Let's go. I'm going to take down your tree, but I'm glad that we uh, that we got your hive. Probably just take down a bunch of these birch trees, clear an area. I I think uh, it's about time we get something over here because we haven't built anything over here other than the windmill, I guess, but anything over here since this cartography trading hall. Let me gulp up all this birch wood real quick as fast as I can. I go up to them real quick, go bing, bang, boom, and bop. Yo, we got another beehive. Damn, we're getting a lot of them popping up over here. Okay, and I actually just had a crazy idea, so let's go grab this one as well. Rainbow Mountain, that pathway that we had made two episodes ago, let's actually fly over there. I'm gonna take these bees' nests real quick, and ouch, okay, that kind of hurt, but I'm gonna take these bees' nests real quick, you know, just go right about there, and take another one and go right over here. I don't know why it took me so long to think of this, but why did we not put beehives on the path sooner? We have another one. What do you know, dude? This is crazy. A couple stacks of birch. That should be good for any fence gates or any, like, fence posts that we want to use in this build, which we probably will. I've been using a lot more birch lately. I used to neglect it. Now I'm kind of using it a lot more. But uh, let's continue going through. I'm just going to lay some water out so I have space to figure out what I'm going to make for this butcher trading hall. This one can actually just go right next to here. I yeah, I feel like next to the windmill. We need, we need some bees. I have my little setup though for my typical builds. Let's go ahead and put the bed there and actually wait, where is, oh wait, do we have it? We have the stone cutter. It's already here. We got to get the stone cutter out, ready to go. You know what? Just for uh, reassurance, I'll get a crafting table on each side and we'll put a lantern on each side so that nothing spawns here. We have our setup ready to go. 
Now we have been using a lot of cobbled deep slate lately, but there actually isn't anything with cobbled deep slate over here that uh, uses the base as cobbled deep slate. So I figured, you know what, let's get some of that over here. Start laying some foundation. This is going to be probably a big L shape or a T shape. Ah, who am I kidding? Every time I say it's going to be some shape, I end up like taking some part of it down and then making it some different shape. I was thinking we actually haven't used the tough material as a uh, building structure, so I think well, that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably have an entire tower of this build, an entire section that is uh, just completely made out of tough. And we have the ability to jump super high, so it's going to make it go real fast. This tower is absolutely already massive, and we've already used uh, maybe 10 stacks of tough, so I'm thinking this will probably be the last layer of three right here. I want to jump down and... Eh, actually, before I go any taller, I want to jump down, probably get rid of what we have already right here with the cobbled deep slate. And I'm actually just going to start making a line like this. The cobbled deep slate is going to be very tall also, but it's going to be more bridge-like. Build a smaller version of the house going this way with a little bit of the cobbled deep slate. And I'm loving this hopping effect here because we can jump so high and it just makes everything so easy. You don't need scaffolding right away. Eventually I will need scaffolding, I always do, but for right now this is making it pretty nice. We're gonna have a courtyard out here. I want it to be a little symmetrical, so I'm actually just going to start putting one, two, three. Bunch of spruce logs out this way. I want this to uh, feel more like the center of the home, kind of like the town center. After one stream on Twitch, this thing got very tall, very quick. We even have a small villager army growing down there. They want to be butchers. They're the first in line. They want to see what it's all about. I started building a little midsection here with diorite, actually, instead of cobbled deep slate and tough. The back of the tough tower, it's starting to look nice. I have to build it a little bit taller, I think. And then this archway over here with the cobbled deep slate mixed with this house structure. This one right here, this looks a little bit more normal. Kind of like everything that we've been building, but the rest of the house, this is kind of strange. If we hop in, this will probably be a communal area where they can chill. I have birch for the floor as of right now, and it's all just a very void, empty space. Might be a good idea to slap some windows up in here to make this place start feeling more like a home. Of course, we got the wall, defense to chain to lantern action. I got that on the bottom row, and the double jump over here makes it super easy. I'll probably get that on the second row, maybe even a third row if we end up going higher. Taking a step back, this build is nice, but its I thought it was bigger than it actually was. It's kind of just the same size as everything else. We're going to have to go a little bit above and beyond to kind of make this thing a little bit bigger. But I'm going to make some windows here so we have a way to look through on the second floor. I've been trying to work on making flatter windows, so that's why you've been seeing a lot of slabs used up here. Get a couple things lined up here. We have the lanterns, we'll get the fence gates, we get the actual fences in, and then I had the tripwire hooks up here, but now they're gone. Put those up here. I love putting the tripwire hooks on windows recently. I don't know why. It's just my favorite, but uh, the last thing to do the roof is usually just to get it texturized up with the trap doors. Then we're actually going to go down. We have this roof right here to finish. I think we'll keep going up with the campfires, just kind of going up a slab at a time. I like a gradual roof going up um, to a point. I never really made a roof go at this 90 degree angle right here, so uh, this is a first and I'm excited to keep trying it. Sometimes instead of the wooden planks, I'll just straight up use the logs themselves because uh, they, they kind of look nice on the roof especially when they're stripped and they're right in between some campfires. Now, I want to keep building this tower up, but I feel like we should get these archways done first, so let's just build up real quick. I have some cobbled deep slate stairs. Yes, right here. We'll go through like that. Probably end up making the arch look somewhat just like this. Honestly, it, o it only has to be that simple. I was kind of confused on what to do with this side, so I kind of just made some windows with flowers in it. We got a bee over here trying to hang out. Crawling up the back side though, I know we do, yep, right here. We have to finish out these campfires. I gotta put them all into place, make sure nothing's burning. And we finished the windows up here too. So now we have four windows over here. We have two windows over there. Now the side of the tower with all of the tough, I figured spruce was a kind of, it was a good contrast. And the azalea was a good contrast as well. The tough is just such a gray color. It's very neutral. And so it's kind of nice. You can put wood and plants all over it. Unfortunately, though, there's no tough walls, and so the closest thing I could find was a cobblestone wall, and I mean, it works, but I do wish we could find something a little better. I'm going to go over here to try to put a cobblestone wall right there, too. On the side here, I've been putting the potted plants with the dead bushes in it, and the flowering azaleas stacked too tall, and uh, then we go below it with the oak fences with the lanterns below. I don't want the tower to be too decorated, so I think just having the corners decorated is just plenty enough. 
Also, we do have it arched right over here and on the other side, but over here, since it was hooked up to the roof on this building, I just figured, let's just hook up some random flower pots on the side of the building. This guy already made his way in here, which I am just, I'm A-OK -okay with that, sir. You can be in here as long as you want. I am going to go over here, though, and uh, see if I can get this decorated. If you want to go back in there, that'd be cool. Actually, let's go out and grab another villager. We actually have a couple boats that we just kind of left out on the side of the road, hoping that a couple of them would just, you know, just hop into the boats like they normally do. Looks like we managed to catch a villager and a cat. No, cat, you're not supposed to be in here. Okay, so... Let's get, uh, let's get these guys out of the boat, and, okay, so let's get you back in the boat, sir, where are you going? Get over here, get in the boat, okay, there we go, let's, uh, let's go this way. I feel like I have spent so many hours transporting villagers by boat. Pretty soon there is a long play coming with the villager transport system, you guys, uh, keep your eyes on the lookout for that. Passing through the beautiful lush land bridge, and, okay, okay, we're breaking lily pads, of course. We have made it all the way back over here, but unfortunately, this guy has not uh, changed his job. Sir, why aren't you forgetting your job? You, you don't need to be a fisherman. You want to be a butcher. Uh, so I guess uh, if you are if you don't want to be a butcher, you can join the other dudes that didn't want to forget their jobs either. I, I got something planned for you guys. You guys, on the other hand, hey, and the wandering trader, don't you, don't you disappear from me, bud. What do you got? White tulip, uh, orange tulip, a little bit of mop black. Okay, I'll take the tulips off your hands. It's time to let loose these villagers upon the- What are you doing, sir? You're, you're going the wrong way! Okay, let's, uh, let's get you guys out of the boats. All of you guys are about to become butchers. This is, this is gonna be great. Uh, most of them are just kind of standing here in place, so I might have to help them out. What if I just kind of make it so they have less room to bop around? Let's go this way, guys. Come on, you got this. All right, they're starting to move. Okay, all right, let's go, boys. Literally flooding these guys into position because they, they, they're they just too stubborn. I know last episode I said that villagers are my new favorite mob. I, I take that back. I take that back. I'm going to stick to baby turtles and baby horses. And the last two are going to fight. Hey, buddy, get in there. Hey, get over there. Get over Yeah, get over No, 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 no. Oh, come on. You know what? Okay, I'll just, I'll just do this. So that we can be sure- there we go. Everybody st everybody stay put. Gotta come back and clean up my mess. Got a lot of boats everywhere. Got a lot of walls and dirt here. Most of these guys I'm probably gonna have to move into place with the water. But some of these guys, uh, maybe it'll be a little easy. Okay, never- okay. Uh, oh, I was literally- I was gonna say he might be doing it right in front of our eyes. Sir, how about- okay, he's going in. He's in! That's exactly what I need out of you, sir. So what do you want to- okay, he wants me to buy some rabbit stew from him. You know what? I'll buy that rabbit stew, and you know what? I'll even buy more. Let's uh, let's take a bunch. Sir, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to take your leads, and I know no one in here is gonna do anything about it, so this is this is what's happening here. Sorry, dude. And uh, you, I don't need you. Uh, what are you doing? You mingling, co-mingling with the villain? It's not allowed. It's not allowed. You're gonna have to go. All right, you guys are all gonna have to start getting into place now. You hear? Villager AI is so strange. They just want, all they want to do is go up these stairs right here, and they can't because I put trap doors here on purpose, so they couldn't go up the stairs. And there's actually nothing up here yet. I, I literally haven't decorated anything up here yet. They're trying to get up into nothing. I'm just going to scoot you in here, and you're just going to... You, hey, buddy, don't fight it. Don't fight... No, 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 no. Get in there. Hey, no, no, no. Don't fight it, buddy. Hey, please. That, and, and there you go. Good job. And you, you saw what happened with the last guy, you know? We're, we're just going to chill. Everybody's going to have a good time. Got all these guys into place. Now I'm going to do a big old spruce trap door bomb. These things are about to go everywhere. And then you know what? Birch buttons. These are, these are going to go in the middle. Nice little balcony area up here with the anvils always gonna look nice to smack everything on this side as well it is looking bare on this side compared to over here Alrighty, now this beacon is just kind of, you know, along the side of the back, and I need to start decorating the backside, so, uh, yeah, this thing's gonna have to go somewhere else. Now we can finally, uh, close up this side here, and you know what, we can actually finally get a little bit of a doorway going. Let's put that right here, maybe actually get some of the campfires used up on the sides. Let's get this here, this here, and where's the shovel? Right here, let's complete that door. You know what? Not too bad. And, well, now that all these guys are actually stuck in place and we have a little bit of this decorated, we can start placing other blocks that are job blocks usually. So, uh, now that these guys are full-time butchers, they're not going to be taking any of these barrels, fisherman jobs, or the composter farmer jobs. Can go ahead and place some composters right in here. Actually, I can go out here, too. Oh, it's nighttime. I should probably sleep, but I gotta put some composters right outside. So, we have an awning right here, but I think it would actually be pretty cool if we had another one on this side actually and if we went over this way we could get actually two of them finish the structure for this part right here all right we got that down and then we'll actually get the plants back over here if i can 
get that into the hot bar. We got one, two, three, and four, and all of these are looking good. That does remind me, actually, we need to get the plants on the roof as well. Let's fly right past the windmill. And, oh, actually, the oak trap doors, those aren't up here yet either. This roof, it ended up kind of looking like a witch hat, but, uh, you know, I kind of like this a lot. It's like the episode six mob farm. If you haven't watched that episode, feel free to check that out. That thing is huge. It's actually, speak of the devil, it's right here. This thing is way bigger than what we're building right now, but uh, it's it's pretty fun. I like this thing. It's like scaled down a little bit, but uh, it still looks okay. Can't complete the top without putting a flag all the way up here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, smooth quartz for this one like I usually do, and we'll go down here. We'll get boom, and that's a flag right there. We can actually go down here and get another flag right over there. Oh, landed it. Perfect. And last but not least, we'll get the third guy right over here. I'll have to go boom, and then we'll go boom and boom. I almost forgot this would have been very embarrassing. The very part of the flag that was the most important, that last little slab. We ended up building right up into the windmill, so we can just hop right back and forth in between the builds. That, uh, that was kind of unexpected, but I'm glad I left myself enough room here to jump in between. Something about this little corner right here is speaking to me, and it's saying I need to put some end rods right there. Still got a little bit of work to do on the pathway, and the exterior, I mean, this, it's, it's starting to look pretty, pretty finished, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, I'm, I'm satisfied with the way it looks, the only thing is, uh, the inside, right here on the inside, it's, it's getting there. It's nowhere near the, like, as detailed as the outside is, but it is definitely getting there. If I were to go upstairs, actually, you would see that uh, there's actually not really any decoration, and what I'm thinking is uh, bringing some grass up here in order to make some areas where there's going to be some mobs and they're going to be held. I know there's a lot of cows over here, and oh, what's up, little dude? The, the villager repopulation has uh, begun. But uh, you know what? I might as well just bring this cow. We only really need the two to start off, so I'm just going to take you guys, and you're going to come with me. Bringing these guys through. You're going to come with me. I'll open the gates. Come on now. Go ahead and follow me up the stairs now, cow. Come on. Okay, so they might have a little bit of a hard time. Let's let them in. All right, come on. Let's go this way, guy. All right, guys. Come on. Absolutely great. Come on. Keep going. Keep going up the stairs. Yes! All right, we got both guys over here. I'm just gonna have to ask you guys to stay up on the grass as I just go ahead and trap you in here and you stay like, oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. They're already trying to leave. Get over here, guys. Just get over here and uh, then I will just leave you like that. Sorry about it. Feel a little uh, evil kind of caging them up like this, but you know, it is just, uh, it's just the way it has to be. The chickens have been put into place. I will be, uh, you know, just uh, adding more chickens throughout here. I put a lot of chickens and a lot of cows in here, and I also, instead of using the oak fences, I started to use the spruce fences because, I don't know, just started to add a little bit more color and more depth. I also thought it'd be a good idea to come up here and put smokers up here as if there were actually going to be a giant chimney coming out of here because we didn't put a chimney in this build yet, but other than that, I am thinking this build is pretty much complete. I'm actually really excited about the interior in here. I have some fish slapped up on the campfires in this downstairs kitchen area. And we have 14 villagers all slapped up into position. I put a back door right out here that leads to the cartography center. And I also actually added a bunch to the bottom wall here while I was finishing the back side. I thought some extra tough pillars would add a little bit more. I don't know. This is, it just makes it seem a lot more interesting than just straight down with the tough. But we roll around to the other side. It's the same on both back sides, but uh, just two different door entrances. Pretty pumped about this though, cause I can walk around here. I can't wait to get something built up here. I got a bunch of jungle trees in the back now. Already got iron golems over here and a cat over here. This is crazy. Just move, you move the villagers in and the, the cats and the golems, they come right in. Now to actually fly back in and gauge where these are gonna go. I'm actually, you know what? A chimney on this side and a chimney on this side. Actually a chimney on each side of the roofs is probably, uh, four different areas where the roof is. So let's get four different chimneys. First, I'll just go right here. We'll get some granite. We'll get a brick we'll get a brick and one more granite and then we'll get the campfires i would have to say it's not too bad i'm liking the uh, the brick and the granite contrast with all of the neutral colors get a big square guy right here in the middle this one's a little bit bigger because it's right above the kitchen so i figured you know it just only makes sense and the roof up here i mean i could i don't really know actually where to start you know let's just take out this four right here i don't need oh my god I didn't- I completely forgot. There's two cows that escaped baby cows and they made it all the way up the stairs. You know what? They're just gonna have to chill there. That's- that's their home now. Not too bad, man. I'm actually really liking this. And now this building is- it's just breathing in and out and I, I love it. So, last thing that we gotta do, I feel like, these guys. The- uh, these guys are some troublemakers. 
I went ahead and I got a new bell over here. We have like eight bells now, and there's a bunch of brand new beds over here. So all these villagers, they have places to sleep if they want to. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a chance. They can get out of these boats, and if they want to run all the way back to the other side of the village where they came from, then by all means, go for it. But you know what? If you guys want to chill on this side of the world, then you know what? Make it your home. Brand new building and brand new village. We got a new windmill over here. All these guys, ah, this is going to be good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining on all of the Twitch streams. It is twitch.tv slash waxfraud if you want to join anytime. Feel free. Thanks to all the Patreon members. It does mean a lot. And episode 36 is right around the corner. I can't believe we're almost at 5,000 days also. We're like 100 days away from 5,000, so... 5,000 days video is coming right around the corner, too. I can't tell if these guys are... Oh, nope. He's running away. Yep, they're all going back. Well, you know what? I tried. Uh, we'll have to get some more over here eventually. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time for episode 36. Bye.